Hey you guys, so I wanted to show you a few ideas you can use for do-it-yourself Christmas gifts. They're really inexpensive and I think I bought everything in one location, which would be Walmart. Super cheap and they're really easy to do, so let's get started. All right, you guys, so for the first gift, you're gonna need just chalkboard paint and you actually can get this at Walmart for about seven bucks, really cheap, and just painter's tape, uh, that's it, really. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to seal the top off. You're gonna want to put like a layer of tape over because it sprays into the cup and you don't wanna be eating chalkboard paint. So, um, and also the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around and I'm going to spray in a sweeping motion. Between each spray, wait 10 seconds. And I'm gonna do about three layers, so here I go. So you're gonna let that dry just to avoid any clumps and like little drip lines. All right, you guys, so here it is. I already pulled the tape off. And do whatever you want with it. This, I love making baskets. In my family, we do like, we're known for like our basket making and how we present it. So what you wanna do is go to, I don't know, Target or Walmart or whatever. You can find just stuff that you can fill the cup with, tissue paper, um, whoever you're gonna get the gift for, just stuff that they like. So I chose makeup. You can also throw like a Starbucks gift card and it'd be really cute. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I would do that right now. So once I packed the cup, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of tissue behind it. Okay. All right, you guys, so here is the finished product. Um, and then on the front, I would literally put any message you wanna give it to. You could say to whoever a girlfriend, or you could just say, um, Merry Christmas. I'm gonna put that right here. All right. And that's it. It's all set and done, isn't it super cute? I love this idea. I think I'm actually gonna send it to one of my girlfriends. And also, another thing that you could do um, for somebody that you love, something that you can put by the door, if you have like um, a little table that's kind of by the door, write little messages to each other um, before they leave for work or something like that. Uh, but just a frame that you already have and just take the glass off and just spray paint, the, um, spray paint on the back of the, this thing right here. So that's another idea. And don't forget to add chalk into your <laughs> into your cup because then you kind of want that's the whole idea of it, you know? So anyway, that's it. And now we're gonna move on to the earrings. All right, you guys, so for the accent earring, I have it on right now. And literally that just means either one earring or you could do two if you'd like, but um, I think one sometimes outfits just look really cute with just one long, really cute earring. So I'm gonna show you how you can do it really quick and easy. If you watched my video uh, for the fringe booth and you still have some suede left, I would use that. If not, it's at Joanne's Fabric for $9.99 for a sheet. You're gonna need a needle nose plier. Um, anything you really want to add onto the uh, earring. You can add studs, if you still have some studs lying around from a previous studs and spike video that I did. Chain, you can actually get this at Walmart for about two to three dollars. And they come in like bronze, silver. Um, I don't think I'm adding chain to this one, but I did on this one that I showed you. Um, and then you're also gonna need um, just that piece that goes into your ear. Not sure exactly what it's called, but you can actually use them off a pair of earrings you don't like, and that's what I did. I took this piece off a pair of earrings that I just don't ever wear. Okay, so if you look at this earring piece, you're gonna see how big the circle is, and what that is, is you're going to base the strip off of that, because if you make it too big, it's not gonna fit in the loop. Um, you're gonna have to do really thin strips. Also, I'm gonna do two strips, and one's gonna be long and one's gonna be short, just kinda make it look more of a fringe look and just have different lengths as well. There's one, and that's the long piece, and then I'm gonna do a shorter piece. Okay. Now on 
each end, I'd probably do like, kind of cut it at an angle to kind of give it a nice finished edge. So the long piece goes in first, and you're just gonna thread the long piece into the loop. Okay. And then you're gonna thread the smaller one on top of that. Kind of looks really open, just kind of like this. So the next step, as I told you that I'm not going to um, add the chain on this one, but I'm going to add little studs on the bottom, and I'm going to add a stud on the top to keep all these little pieces of fringe together. Okay, so now I kind of want to add maybe a stud on a long one and a short one. one more on the long piece. And make sure, since these strips are really small, you're gonna want to um, really push those um, spikes in really tight to make sure it grabs onto the suede. All right, you guys, so I got the last stud on, and here's what it looks like. Isn't that cute? And you can make the strips longer, you can make them shorter, um, you can use gold instead of silver. I mean, there's so many possibilities. So um, anyway, that is it. With this one, I added chain, but you could do a ton more chains. It's just so many ideas. So anyway, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed these tutorials. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Also, hashtag Bella Michelle on your Twitter and Instagram so I can see if you guys do these ideas. And I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.